Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Starbound. When we last left off, we had just been... Uh, what had we been doing? We had unlocked the glitch mission. But before we go back to that, uh, and make some progress and such, we are... Oh dear. Fool of a tooth. Anyway, our first mission here is... Actually, you know what occurs to me? Did I... I didn't even examine all the items. Let's examine some items. All right, jolly good. Anyway, yeah, what are we doing? We are, oh, that is so awesome. Aha, look at that, we're so awesome. Now with our super powers and everything. But anyway, we're going back to recover the last bit of the translation wheel, which uh, I kind of left behind last time. And to make sure we have picked up any and all secrets that may or may not still be hiding away down in the dark depths of the Urkius facility. And also, might as well pick up any and all loot that we happen to find along the way. I gotta tell you, nothing makes you feel like a bigger badass than... You know, for some reason, I don't think I... Oh, it's just an alternate way down here. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. But that is par for the course, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, they changed that, so you can't just skip a whole chunk of the mission. By, uh, yeah. Oh, it's so awesome, isn't it? Yep. I'll just uh, get out of the way of their pink uh, goo. Kind of makes you wonder, what are they spraying exactly? I mean, for all we know, that's uh, their equivalent of urinating, and they're trying to urinate on us. I don't know, I also feel- whoa! I also feel like I'm moving faster. Oh, wait, no, that's a jump boost I have. First to me, I did not plan this out very well, because I don't have all kinds of inventory space. I probably should have cleared that up. In fact, didn't I at the end of the last episode say, hey, I'll be right back in the next episode after I've cleared out and done some inventory management. But typical, I forgot to do it because I got too excited to uh, see what is coming forthwith. And yeah, anyway. I mean, I'm not particularly concerned. Those guys fall down yet? Now they must fall down later. We'll worry about that when the time comes, but that, that probably opens a secret. I mean, there are plenty of secrets that we missed last time. Uh, oh, wow, I actually didn't find that last time. Interesting. It's always nice when you find new stuff that you did not know existed previously. Like, what about this? Oh, there's a secret monster hiding up there. But is there a secret secret hiding up there? There is not. That's very unfortunate. We'll just gently touch down. I've got to be honest, nothing is more badass than the grappling hook. In some ways, anyway. Actually, the only thing more badass than a grappling hook is dual wielding a grappling hook. I'm taking a lot of unnecessary damage. As you've probably noticed by now. Anyway, but yes, lots of secrets. Uh, oh wait, hang on a second. No, there's no secrets there. Just horrible, disgusting monsters. As there usually are. That was grossly unnecessary on my part. But, as usual, completely expected, really. I am really taking a lot of unnecessary damage here. It also occurs to me, perhaps I should have cut away to only show the bits where I am actually finding new stuff. But then again, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Much too much too easy. So instead, we will do this. There we are. All right, there is one secret lever, so I take it this works much like the mini nog mission we did a couple episodes back. You know what, I'm not gonna search every single chest. That was unnecessary damage again, but as is per usual, not unexpected. All right, so we found one of the two switches. I'm pretty sure there's a, there's a lot of monsters here. Is what I am noticing as well. Now, do you guys recall the last time we were here actually running into any uh, secret monsters or secret switches? I do not. Which doesn't mean that they're not there. It just means that I missed them last time. Which, again, you know, totally expected. I hate it when I miss. This makes me spend far more bandages than I really ought to. 
Fortunately, I can always just burn them at range. This is an awesome sword, by the way. I mean, I think we all noticed that already, but it bears mentioning nonetheless that it is an awesome sword. Does that do anything aside from turn the lights on? I don't think so. Anyway, yes. You know, actually I was about to say, maybe we could fit in the glitch mission this time, but you know what, we will, we won't get too ahead of ourselves. We're not in any rush to finish the game, are we? I thought not. At least I'm in no rush. Hopefully you guys aren't either. It's just lots of fun all around, really. And, I mean, why would we want it to be over? I also like the fact, and I, I forgot about this, that, uh... Yeah, we weren't here last time, I don't think. At least I don't remember being back there before. Hello, sir. I jumped right into your damage. Which was rather silly of me. Beautiful. I love it. Alright, so that opens up the shortcut over there. Turns on the fancy lights. Uh, might as well scan that, because we've never scanned that before. Uh, we'll shoot at this guy. And then shoot at these guys. We don't really need my help. But I'm giving it to them anyway, because why not? Oh, good. Yellow stim packs. They make us lighter. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, let's see here. I'm pretty sure we found this secret last time, because it's a pretty straightforward secret. Yeah, communication failed and spacesuit chest. Yeah, we already know that one. All right. And we can always come back here if we actually want to add that to our library, which I think eventually we will. I mean, off camera, I'm going to try to collect every codex in the game. So that they're all conveniently located in my library. Which also means that uh, any future multiplayer type things any, for anyone who may be interested in getting all the lore but uh, has had some bad luck, uh, they'll be able to actually get access to them. Where is that second switch? I wonder. I'm feeling... I'm feeling very silly for having missed it, but I mean, it's got to be here. Somewhere. Somewhere. Have we missed it? Have we just not encountered it yet? These are the questions. That keep me awake at night. And will probably keep me awake for some time to come. We're not going deep down yet. I'm pretty sure... Actually, when it came to the astronaut suit, I was only missing one of the pieces, right? I believe so. Uh, yeah, we found this, and this, but just gonna try anyway. Ah, you know what? This seems like a likely place to hide secrets. And yet, and yet there are no secrets. That disappoints me, but I suppose that would have been too easy. All right. It also occurs to me that if I was really smart and clever, as I like to pretend I am sometimes, what I would have done, and this would have been the smart thing, would have been to, uh kind of look off camera and figure out where the other switchy secret is in order to, uh... Oh, nice. Oh, we already know that. Okay. Take everything, and then we'll get rid of this because I don't know how much it's worth. All right, let's uh, go over to this. So it is somewhere off here. All right. Okay. When we get close to it, we'll see it again. All right, so basically, we are looking for a wire that is out of place. You know what? I'll cut away, and I will let you know when we find it. Oh, here it is. It actually wasn't all that hidden after all. It was right here. In fact, if I had just been using my light like a smart person, I would have seen it. But alas, no one has ever claimed to me of being too clever, only of being too stupid. And yet, that is life, really. Anyway, we'll just kind of wall glide down here, and then just go up here like that, and everything is perfect. More or less, anyway. Perfect as it's going to get. Let's see here. Excellent. The other half of the translation wheel, and some secret scary runes, huh? Old scary runes are my favorite kind of runes. Really? They're mine too. Alright, let's go back and get that translation device. Alright, and here we are. Okay, let's see here. Ancient alphabet. Alright, that's pretty sweet. Alright, what can you teach me, Mr. Ancient Alphabet? Oh no, it actually expects me to do all the translating myself. 
Well, we can do that. Um, I think we'll save anything like that for off-camera, though. No, not off-camera. Well, partially off-camera. Something like that. I'll, I'll do the, uh, transfiguration decrypting-ness of it all off-camera, and then... Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you for the blessing. You have anything cool, Nuru? No? It's kind of a shame that she is just a little bit too short. As... as you may recall, we could have, uh, added her to our crew. Probably him as well, but he wouldn't fit as well. Because their... their body types are just not quite right. It's actually kind of a shame, in that sense. Uh, we'll sell two of these. I guess we'll keep this one and sell these two. Alright. Uh, Alrighty then, we'll just kind of sell all this. We'll sell one of these. Still haven't really talked about the existence of that. I mean, I'm just pretending it doesn't exist, apparently. Despite beloving it ever so much. Alright, just... Ah, eh, we don't even need salves anymore. And I'll just eat that. Yeah, that's probably enough space to get us through the mission. But I do have a lot of inventory management to do at some point. Let's see. I can to smell raw. You know what? Let's, uh... I should cook that. So, back to the ship. Ah, oh, there we are. Meat dumplings. Beautiful. Anything else we can cook? Mushroom bread. That is... That also sounds pretty yummy. And bonbons. And, uh, let's see here. Let's go to the mission. You know what? Let... Yeah. Why not? I mean, we're... We're about halfway. I don't think the mission will run too long. I'm pretty sure this is mostly a boss rush. To, uh, blah, blah. It's mostly a boss... Mostly a boss rush. Man, that was harder than I could have. Or rather than a boss rush, an enemy rush. Also, very clever there, trying to hide from me like that. You think you're so smart, Mr. Wizard Hat. Let's see. Big book of adventures, huh? Let's see. Living but retired. The Baron. The Baron's exploits span several decades and hundreds of worlds. He has fought swarms of Ignome in the magma fields of Apoc, and plundered treasure from the ruins of once great civilizations. I have no idea what the Ignome is. Wait. No, I'm pretty sure it's an enemy you can encounter, isn't it? I'll have to double check that. Apoc, I assume we could probably... Uh, encounter a world like that, maybe, possibly. He has sailed the savage seas of Cyanine. Ooh and explore the darkest depths of the remote Arab forest. In all these- you know what? I want these to be missions now. This excites me. In all these endeavors, always pursued by his arch-nemesis, Count O-1. The ancient and powerful Rampire. Ha ha ha. Truly, the Baron is one of history's greatest adventurers. What do you want to bet that the Baron wrote that himself? I'm willing to bet that the Baron wrote that himself. Oh, and it just closed like that. This keep belongs to a glitch known as the Baron. He is a retired hero, and by all accounts a little eccentric. He may have a few screws loose, dear, but he's not dangerous. Yes, screws loose. Ha ha ha! Also, you thought I wouldn't see this, didn't you? Didn't you, Mr. Stonechest? You thought I wouldn't notice you. What does this have to say? Let's see. I, Axel Brass. Fuse Amp the Third, hereby wager my keep and lands in a game of clunky jacks with the Baron, and herewith promise to provide the Baron with deeds to said property in the unlikely event that he wins. Should I win, I will be showered with the Baron's riches, and I will win, because I'm really good at clunky jacks, but not as good as the Baron I'm willing to wager. And there's an invisible wall there, so we're not going any further. That's a little bit of a shame, but, you know, these things happen. Let's also examine everything, just to make sure we have, in fact, examined everything so we could make it later. Alright, hello, Mr. Baron. I'm gonna just run around your house unattended for a while. Ooh, cool, those glitch guards. Nice. I mean, it makes sense that a Baron would have his own guards. I also look pretty badass with this. Ooh. Does this do anything? It works, apparently. Any cool stuff hidden in these chests? There is. You thought I wouldn't find that either, didn't you, Mr. Baron? You and your secrets. I'm pretty sure you used to be able to just find this stuff. Also, what does this squirrel do? Let's see. Dear Baron, I kindly, and for the final time, request that you stop proposing legislative edicts. Additionally, I would once again like to make it clear that you are entirely unable to pass laws. To restate, you have no affordive power. Please, 
Please stop. Sincerely, Lord President of the Privy Council. Oh, I guess he does have it. So is he a baron in name only, or sort of a, an honorary title? He has no real judicial power or any such... Hello. Hello! Affable, hello, stranger. Welcome to my keep. I have been expecting you ever since you walked through the door. <laughs> Attentive, what's that? You have a request? The thing behind me? Oh, that, yes. I found it some years ago. You can't have it. It's pretty, and I like it. Embarious. Well, goodbye then, strange person. Oh, stop. Do you hear that? I do, in fact. Uh... There's cloaked vagrants back again. This is the fourth time. Decisive. All right. I propose a trade. You get rid of these loathsome cultists for me. I give you the shiny bubble. That sounds fair enough. Yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is mostly like a boss rush kind of fight. It's pretty much just you fighting a bunch of nasty cultists. Do I presume all work for that Nox fellow? Hello there, fellas. That was easy enough. Easy enough indeed. I do like doing that voice. It's murder on my vocal cords. But I think it sounds funny. And it seems appropriate for the Baron's character, don't you agree? I think so. Hello? Alright. Hold the line! Baron, can you actually fight or is... Ow. Oh. Ow. Man, I love this sword. It really holds up. Oh god. Burn, 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 please. Alright. Hold the line. Oh, this works. I didn't even need to upgrade to solo, uh, solarium, uh, solarium tier. Whatever the final tier is. I mean, who needs maximum level armor when you can just be a badass? Outraged! The brigands have rolled in a war machine! I won't have my keep obliterated! You must destroy that ballista! It's also kind of hard to go into that in the middle of combat. It is the hardest voice, probably the most impressive voice I can do, to be honest, but also the hardest, which I guess makes sense. It's all, you know what? Why am I not using my shotgun? Or my shotgun? My sniper rifle. Well, that's probably why. Come on. Knock it down. Oh god, okay, here's where this comes in real handy. Panicked! The ballista! My beautiful walls! Protect my beautiful walls! Oh dear. Agitated! We are besieged by another wave! They've sent more infantry and more archers and no! They're in the skies! Something about purple and such. But unfortunately, the guy doing my voice wasn't fast enough to read what I was trying to say. So now you will never know. I mean, unless you pause the video and read it. I, oh, that's what he's doing. Oh, I, I, I can't do it. I forget what his name is. Uh, sorry, but there are more cultists coming. Please don't worry, though. We're going to help. Okay. I've forgotten Koichi's voice. The stress of battle. As you can see, I mean, this isn't a long- this isn't a long- oh god. Help! For the love of all that is good and holy, help me. Actually, this guy's right- okay, here we- here we go, here we go. There we go, beautiful. That is what penetrating shot is for. Really lets you penetrate the enemy. In a rather intimate fashion, if I do have to say so myself. Oh, there you are, Nuru! Excellent! Thank you for coming to my aid. I knew you would help me. Oh, and you too, uh, Lana? Lanny? Whatever your name was. I'm sorry, I, I don't remember. I'm terrible with names. Your carrot hope to- uh, what was I doing for- I forget everyone's voices. I'm, I'm just gonna stick with, uh, I'm just gonna- oh god. Okay, just- just shoot them. Beautiful. Beautiful. It all works out somehow. Alright, I got this. I, I think these guys are going to keep coming until I destroy the ballista. Yes? No? Oh god. Oh no, they're coming in with the whirligig! Stop that. 
Oh, that is so useful. Thank the heavens. When is this thing gonna just die? Oh, it's never blister. Oh, I see. I see how it is. There's just many of them. Because they are legion. Oh god, I need to get out of here. There's too many, too many cultists. And they're cultivating something. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I, I can't even do anyone else's voice now. This is too hectic for me. You see, this is why I'm not a professional voice. Oh god. This is why I'm not a professional voice actor, as I was saying. Ugh. Oh god. And retreat. How long do they keep <laughs> do they keep me doing this? Forever, apparently. How many cultists does Nox have? Uh, wait, these guys these cultists look kinda like glitch to me. Why would the glitch be helping? Come on. How many of these do I have to kill? Oh dear. They're throwing stuff at me. Come on. Destroy the ballistae. Oh my goodness. It just has too much health. And there it is in the whirligig. Alright, good, good. It's dead. It's all dead. Jubilant! Haha! -ha! That's done for them. We got every last one of those wretched maggots. I could sing. Come here. I want to speak to you. Alright. This was pretty rough. I've already forgotten every other character's voice. My apologies. Impressed! Brilliant work! I doubt I'll suffer a return visit from them. Hmm? Oh, you've certainly earned your bobble. Okay. Shocked! What's that in the sky? Speechless! Yes, I, I, I'm sure you are. Oh dear god, it's the bone dragon! Oh good, it's you! So, mommy sent you- Oh, I forget what I've done for, with Nox's voice. Typical- Oh god. Maybe I should have upgraded to Solarium tier at- Oh my god, this thing can destroy the walls. Oh god. Okay, we're dead. We're dead. Oh god, there's more cultists. I made a huge mistake. Oh Jesus. Nuru, where did you go? This is too much. I can't- I can't do it. I can't do it. There's just too many of them. Okay. Stupid. Stupid Nox. Okay. Can I just hide up here? Oh wait! Yes! I can hide over here. Okay. Not forever though, because there's the stupid cultists! Okay. Okay. Oh my good gee willikers. Okay. Stop. Please. Stop spawning in cultists, dagnammit. Like, is it possible? <laughs> oh, this is not gonna end well. Ow. Okay. I can do this. It's a simple matter of not dying. I mean, I know that probably sounds obvious, but you'd be surprised at how difficult not dying can be sometimes. Okay. All right. The crowd control here. You know what? I'll just throw some of these. I and focus on the boss. Okay. Ow. Took that one right in the face like a boss. Except I was not trying to be a boss today. Okay. I should have upgraded to Solo uh, Solarium tier armor. Okay. Ah, your head went upside down. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh wait, I'm on a weapon, so I don't- oh god. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. The medical thing heals too slowly. It's all I've got. Oh god, and I jumped into it like an idiot. Why would I- why would you do that? Heal up, and then run. The crowd control. Remember the crowd control. Okay. 
Oh god. Help me! Oh dear god. Why? Why does it keep spawning more and more cultists? Oh come on. I, I totally jumped that. Don't tell me I didn't jump that. Um, 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 um. I'm somehow not dead yet. I mean, I'm... I suppose that's a real miracle on 34th Street moment right there. So, I, I guess... But why did all my friends abandon me when I needed them the most? Come on, just throw... Oh, God. Okay. Right, right. Yeah, just get out. Just get out. Stupid human supremacists. We're supposed to live in the future! Racism was a 21st century problem. Why can't we just be friends? I hate all of you. You see, it's not racism if you hate everyone equally. Remember, everyone. Hatred is not okay unless you hate everyone with equal measure. Then do what you want. It's your life. Those are my guiding principles. I think, possibly. You know what? I kind of wish I had an appropriate vamp costume. We are done here. This is pointless anyway. You haven't succeeded in stopping anything. This will all be gone soon. Why? Why do you do these things? Cautious. Is it gone? Are you intact? If it's gone, I need to talk to you. Oh, I didn't get the boss weapon. Uh, boss weapon. That's unfortunate. But we do got some sweet uh, bone dragon chunks and guys who are still throwing arrows. Apparently, we're definitely going to need Solarium tier for dealing with the boss. I reckon the final boss, that is. So after this, next episode is definitely going to be going to get Solarium to. Oh, galvanized. Take the artifact and take me too. I have a teleporter you can use. I'm coming with you. I think this business needs sorting out. Reflective. Also, it's quite boring here. Yeah, I, I can understand that. Yoink. I'll take that. Ah, oh, you see, we could translate that. I wonder what it says. Oh, now that's gonna be where the really hard part is, because how do I see... Or how do I translate that when that's only there for a split... Well, basically, what I'd have to do is just do, a, like, a little... And then there's an invisible wall here. That's that's rather disappointing. I was hoping there would be some kind of super secret up here. There is kind of a super secret. There's like some kind of uh, scarecrow person up there. I hate invisible walls. Invigorated out into the great unknown. And so the Baron has joined our party. Damn, we're a badass. Ooh, another capture pod, some diamonds, and a. A story about the bone dragon. Let's have a read. Dragons aren't real, not even the bone dragon. But with the bone dragon, you get the semblance of reality. This stainless steel robot is encased in tough and durable simia bone, trademark, the most bone-like substance in the known universe. When you purchase the bone dragon, not only do you get a realistic facsimile of a dragon, you also get those classic dragon traits. The gift of flight, red-hot fiery breath, and a predilection for murder. But wait! There's more. The Bone Dragon is automated with multifunction preset capabilities and an intuitive control system. Limited stock available by now, excluding actual bone. Okay. I find mo I find most suspicious and yet also most interesting is the fact that this seems to be the easiest mission to find all the secrets for. And yet, at the same time, I can't help but wonder if we have missed something. You know, this episode ended up being a bit longer than I expected, which is kind of my own fault, really. Oh, nice. What do you have to say, sir? Excited! Esfer has been showing me how to mend broken protectorate weapons. If only I could fix up my own rusted body! <laughs> yeah, thank you, Baron. And there's Tuanic here. More blessings. We have Nero. I'm gonna have to try to refresh myself on what I was doing with each character's voices. I'm so proud of you, dear. After all you've d oh god, that I've completely lost her voice. After all you've done, I know that you are equal to the challenge we face. And as for the woman you fought again, 
my old journal might give you some answers. Also, I think I dropped your items. Oh no, I had the space. Okay, good. Yay, more, m whoa, you know what, I forgot. I haven't upgraded this thing in years. And by years, I mean, not actually years. Wow, 48. You know what, we're not gonna use those just in case I need them. All right, as for his journal, we'll save this for next time, because it's probably gonna be a while. I have something to tell you, dear, and something to show you. It's time for me to ask more of you than I've ever asked before. I believe you're ready for this task. Do you believe you're ready, that is? Ooh, cutscene time. This is gonna be a long episode. Oh, the theme music, yay, awesome. Uh-oh, I should have refreshed myself for this one. Only one artifact missing now. That, that doesn't sound quite right. Yes, and according to our research, that's also not right. Actually, we appear to not have any recorded data on the final artifact. That doesn't sound right at all for his voice. Correct. The reason being that it has been in our possession all along. This matter manipulator that I'm holding is the only one of its kind. I've changed her voice as well. It is the original, the master manipulator. And it also happens to be the artifact gifted to the humans. Interesting. It really does manipulate everything that matters. I hope we don't automatically go to the rune after this. That would be a little unfortunate. Oh dear. Why, why did we do this again? Oh dear. Okay. So, uh... Yeah. Alright. Well, before we do that, we do need some upgrading, and I think I can now actually... Yes, we could actually get this quest, but we'll save that for next time, so for the meanwhile, thank you as always for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.